Hi, my name is Elsa Charlton. I'm a solicitor in the dispute resolution team here at Muckle and I'm going to be chatting about uh, disputes and what to do when you see the first signs of your contract being disputed. A contractual dispute is probably something that you'll know when it knocks on your door. Um, so it's a disagreement between parties. It doesn't actually, contrary to popular belief, have to be based on a written contract, it can be verbal as well. Um, so it's where the parties agree some terms and obligations um, and it is no longer working for one of the parties. Disputes can happen for a number of reasons. Um, it can be that uh, one party isn't happy with the product that's been provided on a very basic level. Uh, one of the parties can be refusing to pay for various reasons that they're not happy with the quality and that they've got economic dif difficulties. Um, and there can be a number of reasons uh, as to why they arise. There are an infinite amount of uh, contractual um, disputes um, and they can vary. They can vary on the different terms um, that you agree to. There are standard terms and then there are um, non-standard terms um, and it can be in relation to standard or non-standard terms in which a dispute arises. Um, there are also within the contract itself, if you've got a written contract, there's also a provision normally, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, that states if there is a dispute then X, Y and Z have to be followed. Um, so it's really important to look at your contract and understand if uh, any aspect of the contract is disputed and the parties can't move forward, what are my rights? So it's really important to address contractual disputes from the outset. They may be resolved quite quickly. Um, alternatively, if they are not resolved quite quickly, it can lead to a delay in your contract ultimately um, and to your end goal. So it's important to review your dispute resolution provisions within your contract because you need to be aware of the rights that you have um, and the rights that the other party have in relation to a dispute. Um, you can have a party who verbally uh, states that they're not happy, they're not happy with the output, they're not happy with the way that the works are going, um, they're not happy with the end product that you've delivered. They can do that verbally or they can do that in writing um, and it's important that you address both because both are equally important and um, they're both valid ways of expressing your dissatisfaction for how the contractual relationship is panning out. It's also important to um, understand any timeframes uh, which apply to you and the other party for serving of notices and um, if you're required to do so in your contract. It's really important to understand your options and obligations for your party and for the other party because if there is going to be a dispute um, or if they're not performing or you're not performing it's important to understand where the fault lies um, and therefore where the rectification lies as well. So having additional detail in internal and external um, correspondence is key and this will help your solicitor outline exactly who is liable for which element of the contract. If you're involved in a dispute, it's important to note where you want it to go. So you entered into a contract to provide X, Y and Z, or for somebody to provide X, Y and Z services to you. That was the goal at the time. Has that goal changed? Has that altered depending on the dispute? Um, and do you still want that outcome? Um, it's important to bear that in mind because in terms of cost, um, it could cost you a significant amount to continue to dispute, whereas there may be a solution that costs you half the amount. It's important to seek legal advice on your rights um, within the contract, the options that you have to either terminate the contract or to continue to provide those obligations. I hope that you found that video useful. Um, if you need anything else or any advice, uh, please feel free to get in touch with the Muckle team. Thanks.